everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we're going to run some benchmark tests on the Kyocera Echo. Yeah, that's what an Echo looks like when it's all folded up. Uh, gonna run the benchmarks you all have asked me to in the forums and through email. And one thing I do wanna say, I don't shut background stuff off when I run a benchmark, so, you know, to keep that in mind, I've got email and Twitter and everything else going on in the background. Enough yakking, let's run them. We'll start with Linpack. And it does pretty good on Linpack. Of course, I've had to run them a couple times myself and make sure everything was gonna work without crashing. You can see, I mean, it, it averages right around 35 on Linpack, which is a pretty good score. Much better than I expected we'd see out of this one. One more time, and there you go, uh, 37.855, which is a great score, you know, for this phone especially. Uh, now let's run a quadrant test. Run the full benchmark. Don't expect too much here. I mean, it, it's not a powerhouse. I don't think anybody ever said or claimed that it, would, it would be a powerhouse. Uh, you know, for day-to-day -day use, web browsing, email messages, works really good. Maybe not the best 3D game player out there, but it's not billed as such. One thing I want you to notice down on the bottom where the frames per second are, it's about half cut off. Uh, I'm sure that's because they're using some sort of different, weird, crazy uh, screen drivers, you know, LCD drivers because of the dual flip out and they have to shut it on and off. But, you know, you may notice that in other areas. I, this is the first place I've noticed it is, you know, I'm not even going to say it's much, maybe three pixels. It's just a little bit cut off. And you can see the performance is, you know, it, it's, it's probably about as good as an Evo. Let's see what it comes up this time. Uh, your device, it gives me a score, you know, right above a stock Galaxy S, which eh, I'm not even going to say it would perform that good. You know, Galaxy S phones do really well on the graphics and the 3D stuff. You can see this one got such a, a the high score that it did get because of the CPU cycles. And, you know, it's Froyo, it's a Qualcomm, it's a Snapdragon. It's going to do better on, on CPU stuff on Froyo. But there's that, you all have a look at that. And we'll jump back. And we wanna do NeoCore, you all asked for that. Uh, it does pretty good on NeoCore because you know it does have the Qualcomm chip in it. So let's, well, if I could hit the right button that is. Kinda hard to do this through the camera. There we go. Now let's have a little shoot em up. Uh, you can see this, this looks pretty good. I don't know how it's gonna translate through the camera. It's, you know, sitting here, looking over top of the tripod and down at the phone. Uh, yeah, real smooth. The shaders look really nice. I, you know, if, if this was the way all the graphics looked, I would say, you know, it's, it's a great phone for games and stuff. So it, it does go to show you, you know, how different types of software can run even, you know, on different types of hardware. But now we're gonna have our little final shootout here and give us a score. Yeah, you can't catch me with those rockets because I can fly and I have a green eyeball. Boom, that's what you get. Don't mess with me, I'm from Texas. Uh, whatever, I'm just trying to pass the time here. Okay, give us a score, 37.1. Like I said, it does pretty good. We've seen phones score up into the 70s, but uh, 37 frames per second on this particular you know, benchmark. It looked good, and it did good. So, you know, that's, it is what it is. But now let's put it to the test with a regular OpenGL, non-Qualcomm specific. Zoom in here a little bit. And yeah, you can see the last run. You know what you're to expect here, 18 frames per second. And it shows while it's running. Uh, I'll let you have a look. If you notice the smoke coming out of the chimney. It's choppy, it's jaggy. Uh, this this is no 3D powerhouse. Uh, now, you know, this, this phone is rooted. And, you know, it, it, I haven't hacked at it or anything. I, you know, it sprints. I won't do that to them. But I did make sure we had a good root method for it, and that's where I stopped. If, if you get in there, you know, there may be things you could tweak. Maybe, you know, make this better. Maybe not. Uh, it's a, a lot of it's hardware dependent. But, you know, what can you say? Not all phones are gonna you know run crisis that's just the way it is and there it is is again 18 frames per second no we don't want to publish that i've seen it as low as uh i think 14 was the lowest 
And as you can see, 18 is the highest I've got out of this. Probably ran it maybe 10, 15 times trying to see just what I could make it do. Get out of here. So there you go. Uh, you know, like I said, it's... It is what it is. It's a neat little phone in a lot of ways, but uh, a high banging performer, you know, beast of a phone, it's not. Well, anyway, I'll let you guys digest that. I've got other things to do. I will holler at you later.